Hi, in this video we're going to remove the logic board from a 2009 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I'd recommend following this iFixit guide which I've linked in the video description. It covers each of the steps I'm going to follow in this video. The first thing you're going to want to do is to shut the Mac down. So close down any open applications, power off your machine. So with the MacBook shut down, close the lid, uh, we're going to flip over, maybe stick something underneath it to protect it. Okay, I've went for a bath towel, so turn the machine upside down, this release point here, pull it all the way up, flip off the bottom cover, just put that to the side just now. The battery, you can see here, just pulls out using this tab. Ok, now that we've removed the battery and the lower cover, this takes us on to step 4 of the iFixit guide. We're going to remove the rest of the lower case. To do that, we're going to remove 4 screws from the bottom of the case, which are the same size. We're then going to remove these 3 screws at the other end, which are again a different size. And then lastly, we're going to remove one screw in the corner, which is a different size again. With the screws removed, the lower case will now lift off. Now that we've removed the lower case, if you wanted to, you could remove the memory. To remove the memory, you just pull the tabs either side away and then the module will come free. For this guide, I'm going to leave the memory in place, it doesn't have to be removed. The next part we're going to remove is the mid wall. It's held in place with the five screws that I'm showing you now. We're going to remove the five screws and lift the mid wall out of the case. Okay, with the screws removed, the mid wall just lifts out. The next part we're going to remove are the two fans. Um, before we remove the two fans, we're going to disconnect the power connection, which just pulls up. Each fan is held in place with three screws as shown. Just remove the three screws. Ok, with the screws removed, the fans just lift up out of the system. In the next step, we're going to remove some connections from the logic board itself. This first one we're going to do here is for the camera. The next one here is for the optical drive, it just pops up. This next one here is for the subwoofer, it just pulls out, like the fans. This next one down here, I believe is for the hard drive. The 
This next one in the corner is for the sleep connector. It uses a pop-up connector. Okay, it's free. This next one down here is for the trackpad. Okay, the next one at the other side of the memory is for the battery indicator light. This next one is for the keyboard. It flips up and then pulls out. This next one is similar to the keyboard. It's for the express card. This next one is for the microphone, it's the same as the subwoofer and the fans. This one up in the corner is for video connection. You just flip up the arm and then pull it out. The next one we're going to remove is the backlight connector, which is shown here. You just flip that up and then pull it out as shown. Now we're going to remove the logic board screws from the case. There are seven, which are shown as following. Uh, one of them at the end has already been removed from my system. The next part we'll remove is the power adapter board. The iFixit guide says you don't have to do this, but it makes removing the logic board easier. And it's held on with two screws. Now we're on to the final step of removing the logic board from the case. One thing to remember, as shown here, is that the battery connector is still connected underneath the logic board. Um, so when you lift out the logic board from the case, you want to disconnect that at the same time. And with that done, the logic board is now free from the case. Thanks for watching my video.